what talk about timing is there a sort of a, is there a timing is there a sort of a moment of truth within the business when it's a good time for you to sort of think about selling or is it just something you think you wake up one morning and go yeah now i've had enough of this i want to sell is there a is there a way to think about timing strategically for selling your SaaS? Absolutely. So there's a few signals you can look for when you're thinking about going to market. Um, besides the, uh, well, we'll talk about a couple of things, signals in the market, signals in the market, meaning there is a lot of activity, a lot of buying activity in your industry. So if you're in a vertical and there's a lot of, let's just take healthcare as an example, and you've heard your, one of your competitors was just acquired or something, you know, you've heard several other businesses that are adjacent to you have been acquired. It could mean that there are, there's a good opportunity to sell because what you might see is a private equity company looking to um, essentially uh, acquire a, a several businesses um, within your category. And they call this bolting on or adding on to their um, platform, which would allow you to, you um, get acquired for a slightly higher multiple than, than normal because they are trying to make acquisitions quickly as a part of an inorganic growth strategy. So when you think about like growing a business that so you can grow, uh, you know, by just revenue, sheer revenue growth and, and sales and marketing and whatever efforts you have there, you can grow inorganically by acquiring businesses. And that is often the playbook of, uh, you know, private equity to add on businesses and therefore the size of the, the business and the net profit or EBITDA is larger. And then those, the larger the business, typically the larger the multiple that you'll see. And so that's a good signal that it might be a time to go to market is when you start to see or hear about other folks that are being acquired in your industry. If you're not getting a lot of rumblings about that, the second best time is when there is a growth movement in your business. And so you're starting to see 20, 30, 40% year over year growth consistently. Um, the business is mature and you have um, things in place so that you are not the bottleneck in the, in the company. So this is just a stage of the business that everybody I think hopes to achieve at some point, which is I'm not the one um, in the business every day. I'm, I'm kind of overseeing it and um, the business is growing well. So in a lot of cases, the best time to sell is when you don't need to sell, when you we don't want to sell really, when things are going very well. And because what happens inevitably is the business will go through ebbs and flows. It's going to go through peaks and troughs. And so you, you don't know exactly when you're at that peak, but it is on the ride up that you want to be going to market. Um, because so oftentimes I see businesses going to market when they're either plateaued or on the way down. And that is a much, much more difficult business to sell, um, than one that is growing consistently. So market signals, uh, the growth of the business, the maturity of the business as a whole, um, that could be partially due to the age and also just due to the management team that you have in place that you feel, um, can. Uh, work with the next acquirer well and transition well. That's really interesting, isn't it? That, like you said, there's two sets of signals there. Some are signals from the market, sort of the external ones, and some are then signals from your own business internally then. So it's kind of, you can match those two things up or follow one of them. That gives you a clue as to when it will be. It's really interesting, isn't it? 